श्रीकांत इज विकीपीडिया रिलायबल एनीबडी कैन एडिट विकीपीडिया हाउ कैन इट बी रिलायबल राइट सो इवन दो एनीबडी कैन एडिट विकीपीडिया इट इज स्टिल हाईली रिलायबल and there is data and research to back this seriously yes so that's what we are going to look at in this episode how and why wikipedia is reliable and the few times when it could be unreliable mm. how do you get still get reliable information out of it right? okay this promises to be interesting correct so let's start with anybody can edit right? yes and you are sitting there imagining some idiot putting like you know all kinds of stuff in the articles yeah this is called vandalism yes okay so there are studies so right. for example in 2003 ibm did a study along with mit media lab and they looked at how much vandalism happens and how uh, when it gets fixed and they found that most instances of vandalism get fixed within minutes okay in fact they get fixed so fast that most users will never notice wait this is 2003 that's 20 yeah. years ago 2007 huh. pc pro magazine did a different study where they intentionally introduced 10 errors okay and some of them were very obvious glaring errors but some of them were deftly subtle errors okay 9 out of the 10 errors got fixed within an hour right in 2007 University of Minnesota mm. looked at a large number of vandalism cases mm. and found that most of them get fixed within the first or second time somebody views a page with an error like this right in fact the probability mm. of you seeing a page mm. which has some uh, vandalism in it is less than half percent 0.37 percent in fact wow and this is not old studies there have been dozens of studies uh, since then all of them pretty much say the same thing right yeah but uh, who, who is sitting there editing wikipedia back to what it is supposed to be yeah so first of all wikipedia has bots okay automatic programs which go around looking at every change and then using artificial intelligence to decide whether it is vandalism or not okay. when it is very sure that it is vandalism huh. it will revert the edit immediately right it gets fixed all hail our ai overlords yes. of wikipedia second line of defense right all recent changes huh. go into a page on wikipedia saying these are the recent changes uh -huh. and there are human editors who sit there and who just spend their time looking at the recent changes and if they don't like the change if they think it's a, a case of vandalism revert it or even if they think it's a case of uh, somebody making a claim without citing a reference for that claim they will undo it right i've had that happen to me i have tried you can call this the recent changes patrol so there are these guys sitting at home and you know their idea of a good time is to revert recent changes people have made right and i thank those people they are doing a huge service to the world and not getting any almost no credit for it absolutely right? agreed but let me let me channel my inner arshad varsi and ask you kon hai ye log kahan se aate hain ye I mean, who are these people where do they come from except we are asking that in a good way okay. yeah <laughs> in addition yeah. right uh, there are people who are very interested in a particular topic Haan. or a particular page yeah and then they put themselves on a uh, they put that page on a watch list Ah. saying that if anybody makes any edit to this page i should know oh so when you are interested in a topic every edit comes to you and there is a bunch of these people mm -hmm. and they will go they have expertise and they will look at the edit and if they don't think it is uh, justified mm -hmm. right see it can't just be true mm -hmm. it has to be true and justifiable right oh. wikipedia says mm -hmm. that you can't put your opinion there even if it is true unless you can back it up with a source and the source has to be a book or a mainstream media publication or something like that wow right? even if shrikant makes a claim about shrikant that i was there that is not acceptable primary sources are not allowed only secondary sources a newspaper has to report it okay? i would love to be a fly on the wall on these discussions oh 
these discussions are all sitting right there in Wikipedia. Right? What? Every page, huh. if you go to the top, it says article and right next to that, there is a tab saying talk. Okay? okay. So if you click on talk, that is called the talk page about that article where people who are editing this page are having discussions about is this allowed, is this not allowed, what about this, this source is not reliable enough, right? So some of those, I mean, it is so instructive to read the talk pages. It is like, you know, entire mini movies going on there. Like, there is a single word that some people are trying to add and some people are trying to remove and there can be five pages of discussion on that one word, okay? back and forth like entire wars okay these are called edit wars by the way <laughs> but not just for the edit wars but a lot of the discussion you will notice is very civil mm -hmm. and based on logic and based on the rules of the wikipedia right oh. so it is i mean it is mind blowing you have to look at it to see it in action naveen is clearly a fan of the edit wars i am a fan of storage wars i am a fan of the whole editing process edit wars is a tiny tiny fraction of it okay all right but my yeah. point is despite all of these edit wars and despite all of this oh by the way one thing that happens huh. is that sometimes an edit war goes so out of hand that it can't be controlled. It's just, you know, people going back and forth, one guy adding it and the other guy removing it and so on, right? By the way, most of them are guys. But yeah, so Wikipedia has a next level of uh, thing, right? Huh. Higher level editors, administrators, they can protect a page, saying that right now, this page or this topic is very controversial. We are going to stop edits. Or at oh. least, you know, only people with a certain amount of experience in editing or a certain reputation, only they are allowed to edit. Random people are not allowed to even edit it, right? So they are levels and levels of uh, processes they have put in place learning from 20 years. Sounds like there is an entire corporate structure in the background, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There right. is a structure. Despite all of this corporate structure, they still don't get 100% of it right. There is still 0.37% that you said was right. Flawed. Right. So you're saying because of that, Wikipedia is unreliable. Yeah, exactly. The question you have to ask yourself at times like this mm. is compared to what? Okay. Uh, For example, mm. if you had a god sitting here, right, who knew everything about everything and you could ask questions and the god answered correctly, mm. accurately at all times, right? Mm. Yes, then compared to that god, sure, Wikipedia is unreliable. But you happen to be one short of such gods. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you have? What's your alternative to Wikipedia? Uh, Encyclopedia Britannica? That's, right? Yeah. So, let's compare Wikipedia to Encyclopedia Britannica, right? Nobody is running around in the street saying Encyclopedia Britannica is unreliable. Okay. But people did studies. So, there is this research. In 2005, Nature did a study. Hmm. They took 42 articles on scientific topics and they took article on the same topic from Wikipedia and Encyclopedia Britannica mm. and they were given to experts in that particular field of science mm. and the experts were told to look for errors and omissions. Okay. Okay. And that's it, right? Blind evaluation. The expert didn't know whether this had come from Wikipedia or from Encyclopedia Britannica. Mm. The result of the study was the quality of Wikipedia and Britannica was almost the same, okay? Mm -hmm. Serious errors per article on an average, four in Wikipedia, four in Encyclopedia Britannica. Oh! Minor errors, four in Wikipedia, three in Encyclopedia Britannica. Also keep in mind mm -hmm. that Wikipedia has 10x the number of articles as Encyclopedia Britannica, right? So, so it is... So it has much more information and the information is roughly the same quality. Hmm. There are similar results for say German Wikipedia versus Microsoft Encarta or German Wikipedia versus Brockhaus Multimedial. Okay. Hmm. A different study 2012 University of Melbourne hmm. on mental health related articles hmm. found that on up-to-dateness, hmm. their word, okay. Up-to-dateness, Wikipedia beat Encyclopedia Britannica. Okay. On breadth of coverage, Wikipedia beat Encyclopedia Britannica. On referencing, Wikipedia was better. The only thing that Wikipedia was worse on was readability. 
in fact yeah. that has been mostly true most of the studies have found that wikipedia is not as readable as encyclopedia britannica they are paying writers to write well but yeah in terms of accuracy they are comparable okay interesting let's compare with something else textbook right okay. so in 2014 a study by german and swiss universities mm. looked at pharmacology okay okay and they compared wikipedia to an actual textbook used by doctors for pharmacology okay. okay they found that wikipedia was 99.7% accurate and 84% complete okay overall what they decided was that wikipedia is an accurate and comprehensive source of drug related information for undergraduate medical education and there are dozens of other studies with similar results right so yeah wikipedia is as reliable as any of the best other sources you can think of okay 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 but uh, you said something about uh, edits on wikipedia needing to be facts and justifiable yeah. so what happens with uh, contentious opinion based topics like politics or religion what yeah. do you so in general that is one of the things people worry about right because most of the edit wars hmm. happen on a controversial topic like politics or religion right mm -hmm. so on wikipedia you are not allowed to just state your opinion right mm -hmm. like oh trump is an idiot you are only allowed to say that so and so article in so and so newspaper said this mm -hmm. okay that is one and whether it is worth including here mm -hmm. that's what the edit war becomes about right okay but here mm -hmm. is the important point mm -hmm. right a study by the canadian library association in 2006 mm -hmm. found that on wikipedia on an average right except for a few cases of edit wars the two sides typically there are two sides right mm -hmm. actually engage with each other and like i said you can see this on the talk page they are having a civil conversation mm -hmm. based on the rules and logic they engage with each other and there are negotiations happening and finally you end up with an article that both sides can more or less live with okay <laughs> notice this does not happen anywhere else okay this happens only on wikipedia a 2017 ncsu harvard u chicago study hmm. looked at all topics in politics social issues and science hmm. 233000 articles 5% wow. of all of english wikipedia hmm. and what they found was that articles which are like attracting a lot of attention hmm. right hmm. they tend to have more balanced engagement because both sides land up there and the more polarized the topic of the article is mm. the higher quality the result is in terms of being neutral and handling both points of view right hmm wow so wikipedia is a very reliable source of information uh, it has no problems there is a problem of a different kind which is bias okay some of the important ones so a lot of people feel that wikipedia has a liberal bias okay, okay. <laughs> part of the reason could be i mean some people claim that well wikipedia has a liberal bias because reality has a liberal bias uh, or a different way of stating it is that the average person across the world yeah. is a little more liberal than the average person in us or average person in india <laughs> uh, but in any case it's slightly yeah. more Uh, liberal than uh, conservative hmm. that is there another is male bias hmm. most of the editors hmm. tend to be male and tend to be young so things they are interested in get higher coverage and things they find less interesting gets lower coverage right yeah. so for example ha huh. the entry on light sabers <laughs> is much longer than the entry on the printing press but light sabers are fun yes <laughs> you are a male of the correct age right but other real more serious problem there uh, is that women tend to get underrepresented uh, right? so yeah. wikipedia has a concept called notability hmm. okay shrikant can't go and create an article about shrikant there hmm. it will get deleted because shrikant is not considered a notable person right? no so now if articles about women get created hmm. there is a slightly higher chance that they get deleted as being not notable enough because those males didn't find it notable enough right there are women working on trying to fix this problem shouldn't there be like an objective standard for notability 
uh, so there isn't. There is an objective standard, but it's, there's still subjectivity at the end of ah, it, right? Okay. The other problem hmm. with Wikipedia is what is often called reputation washing. Oh yeah. Okay. So somebody has a bad article on Wikipedia and they want to clean it up. Right? <laughs> so overall conflict of interest, vested parties trying to edit articles yeah. about themselves or their customers. Okay. Yeah. So there is a woman called Soraya Fiorio who is out in the open mm. saying that she writes commissioned articles for writers and musicians for $30 per hour. She will create and update and you know improve articles for you. Okay. Microsoft had offered to pay a guy uh, money to edit OXML article. Okay. okay. Some technology that Microsoft is interested in and they actually, the company officially tried to pay someone <laughs> to fix that article, right? Wow. A long-standing admin, huh. admin is pretty high up in the Wikipedia hierarchy, right? Yeah. A long-standing admin was banned from Wikipedia because they found out that over a period of many years, huh he was making pro IIPM edits. IIPM was an MBA university uh, in India and let me read from Wikipedia, neutral point of view, uh, was shut down after multiple allegations and lawsuits concerning the institute's use of false advertisements and fraudulent practices. And hmm. apparently there was a Wikipedia admin who was making pro IIPM edits and remo removing anti IIPM edits for a long time. And somebody has estimated that it probably affected the lives of 15,000 students. Wow. So bad things happen, but you know where I found out about all these problems with Wikipedia? On Wikipedia? On Wikipedia itself. Okay. Right? So that is the process working. Yeah. Right. So that is definitely the process working and uh, I believe uh, Wikipedia is also uh, dangerous if you look at it as a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, you know, it has reliable information, but it has reliable generic information, right? Yeah. It won't apply to your specific case. So don't use the medical information there directly. Always go to a real doctor and so on, right? So don't take everything in the Wikipedia to be the truth, okay? Every once in a while, there will be a sentence that might be wrong. Mm. So what you should do for important things mm. is look at the source from where that information has come mm. uh, and take your judgment as to whether that source is reliable. Every once in a while, you should read what is written in the article because what can happen is what's written in the article and what's captured in the Wikipedia can be slightly different. Hmm. And if you want to know when you should do that, then we've uh, done an episode on uh, how to detect misinformation and how to de detect BS on the internet. If it is ready by the time you're seeing this, you'll find a link in the description. If not, then uh, do subscribe to the channel and you'll get a notification whenever that episode is out. So I don't want to end this episode without talking about a couple of really funny things about Wikipedia, right? Okay. So for example, hmm. sometimes when reality and Wikipedia have a mismatch, reality gets edited. <laughs> Excuse me, what? So baseball player Mike Trout, huh. okay. <laughs> somebody went and edited his Wikipedia entry and saying that his nickname is the Millville Meteor. Okay, he didn't have that nickname, somebody just made it up. But a Newsday writer ended up seeing that article, he used that nickname in an article, and after that, everybody started using that nickname. It became a real nickname, right? So sometimes people edit reality to make Wikipedia true, okay? All hail Wikipedia. It's another even more interesting thing, right? Okay. So, for example, Sasha Baron Cohen, the guy yeah. who played Borat, yeah. right? Some but anonymous editor put information in his article saying that he worked at Goldman Sachs be before becoming an actor. In, in the Wikipedia article? Yes. Okay. And it is believed that somebody from Goldman Sachs did this. Okay. <laughs> Later, Haan. two newspaper articles, Haan. right, from proper newspapers, The Independent and The Guardian, when they talked about Sasha Baron Cohen, they mentioned this. Okay. Later on, Haan. Some editor noticed that there is a claim here, yeah. but it doesn't have a citation. 
so they removed that line okay after that a different editor said ho oh, why did you remove this line there are two newspaper articles saying this so they put that line in back with citations this time did no one think of asking sacha baron cohen if his work at goldman sachs that's not allowed you can't yeah. allow ask directly you can only put in wikipedia things which are there in secondary sources the no primary sources so, rule yeah of course over time this particular thing has been fixed but there are probably other incidents where there is a circular thing right yeah. a wikipedia <laughs> reference causes newspaper articles and then those newspaper articles become the source for that reference okay <laughs> and this happens frequently cytogenesis <laughs> really cytogenesis xkcd has a cartoon yeah. on this yeah uh, this this happens very frequently in terms of uh, certain musicians uh, who's deaths keep happening on wikipedia uh, well yeah that happens right uh, death by wikipedia is every once in a while somebody will go and edit some celebrity's page saying he died today <laughs> right so there's a list of people like this who have died without dying so so the most important thing i want to point out ha is that your instincts can be wrong right everybody's first instinct is to say wikipedia cannot be reliable because anybody in the world can edit it yeah but you have to look at the data the real world can be more complex than simple logic that your brain understands so mm. don't go by instinct that's first yeah. second is generally for mm. important things get into the habit of checking references right mm. every once in a while i have found important misconceptions people have uh, because they were not looking at the references carefully right and you keep doing this often enough you get a finger feeling for when it is worth doing this and when you are likely to find something funny uh, you you develop that instinct right fingertips feeling we've done an episode on it again if it is ready by the time you are seeing this you will have a link in the, the description third important thing is whenever you are saying oh this is good or this is not good ask yourself compared to what right that's an important question that's the most important question that you should be asking when you are trying to uh, debate something like this as i have realized today compared to what well compared to this episode you should probably check out uh, an episode we did called wisdom of the crowds aha episode segue <laughs> we've lined it up for you shrikant navin future iq